Welcome everyone. Now uh, today's problem involves minimization problem as used in linear programming using the graphical method of solution. And we are supposed to determine the optimal solution which normally involves a maximization problem or minimization problem. But in this case, it is a minimization problem whereby we are given to minimize p is equal to 25x plus 30y subject to 4x plus 8y greater than or equal to 64x plus y is less than or equal to 13 <coughs> and x and y is greater than or equal to 0. So in this case, what you're supposed to minimize is known as the objective function. So the objective here is to minimize the function P subject to these constraints. You talk about constraints, we are referring to the limiting factors or the limiting resources which should be minimized as low as possible to ensure that the value of p remains at its lowest level. Now, when we talk about the minimization problem, we have steps. So the first step is to convert the constraints. We convert the constraints inequalities the constraint inequalities to equation. Remember inequalities are given by this symbol here. So if, if you convert for example 4x plus 8y you say it's equal to 64. We do the same for the second one x plus y should be equal to 13. Then because here we have x and y we say x is equal to 0 and y is also equal to 0. Then the second step <coughs> we are supposed to get pair of coordinates. We get a pair of coordinates which we are going to plot and how do we get the pair of coordinates? By getting the corresponding values of y and x if each is zero. For example, when x is zero, what will be the value of y? And when y is zero, what will be the value of x? That is what you mean. For example, if x is zero in this equation, what will be the value of y? Essentially, this one will be rounded off to zero. So we are going to have 8y is equal to 64 y should be equal to 64 divided by 8 which gives us 8 so y will be 8 when x is 0 what about when <coughs> when y is 0 now when y is 0 we want to see the value of x it should be 4x equal to 64 x should be 64 divided by 4 which gives us 16 okay then this one here, x and y values when each is 0 again. When x is 0, it means y should be 13, should be equal to this value. And when y is 0, it means x should be 13, should be equal to 13 that you have been given here. So we are supposed to plot this one. We are, why do we plot? We plot the values on the Cartesian plane to be able to determine the feasible region. Feasible region is the region that is going to give us the optimal solution. So we are supposed to get the feasible, the feasible region. And this region is what is going to give what is known as the optimal solution. In this case, talking about the minimization problem, which are going to arrive at slowly. So the first one. When x is 0, y is 8. So x, the value of x is always along 
the y axis so y should be 8 as x is 0 it should be there okay then when uh, this one should be 16 when y is 0 x is 16 so x should be 16 as y is 0 so we are done with the first equation <coughs> we join the two coordinates so the first this one should be that join to that one and we can give it a name as we can say this is 4x plus 38y should be greater than or equal to 64. <coughs> we go to the next copy of coordinates when x is 0 y is 13 so y should be 13 should be somewhere here as x is 0 then the other one is x is 13 y should be 0 again it should be somewhere here then we join the two points so we join this one to that then we give it a name we name the the the, the, the graph as x plus y is less than or equal to 13 okay then of course we plot this one x is less is equal to zero is always on the x axis on the y axis sorry then y is equal to zero is always on the x axis but remember we are supposed to shade the unwanted region now when we start with this one x should be greater than zero is this value here is this graph along the y axis so it means we shade the unwanted region in this case which is this one here y is greater than zero less than there is or equal to this supposed to be along the x-axis again so we shade the unwanted region because we we need what is on top of that graph okay again we talk about this graph x plus y should be less than 13 so essentially it means we need any value below the graph because it is less than so it means we shade the unwanted region again this one 4x plus 8y is greater than 64 and it is this graph here so it means we need what is on top of the graph it is greater than that so it means we shade the unwanted region this one becomes what is known as the feasible region so feasible region is going to give us the optimal solution as i said before by getting the three or four or so points which are connected to begin with we have this point here we can name it point a we name this point b and we name this point c so for us to get the optimal solution we are going to get point a b and c with the corresponding values of x and y then subject it to the objective function i think we can write our objective function here to be uh, precise we have p is equal to 4 25 x plus 30 y should be equal to you know should be equal to the value of p sorry so it means <coughs> for a our x is zero this value x is zero x is zero and y is 13 we are going to get the value of p then for b is this one here our x is 8 and y i mean our y is 0 and x is 0 
y is sorry y, y is 8 and x is 0 so x is 0 as y is 8 again we get the value of p by subjecting this one to the objective function then for us to get the value of c because it is at the point of intersection we can you we use the equation of the two lines like the equation of this line was given as x plus y is equal to 13 and the equation of this line the point at which they intersect we get the equation of this line which is 4x plus 8y is equal to 64 we can use the elimination method to get the values of x and y. Now, for us to get the elimination method, we are supposed to we are supposed to convert these two equation equation one equation two. We convert equation one into and two such that when we subtract one one known values. One non equal terms gives us a sum of zero or gives us a difference of zero. What do you mean that we're supposed to have, for example, 4x, or we simply have x and x here? So we can as well, for us to have a difference of zero in this one, it means we multiply this one by 4. So it will be 4 into x plus y. Is equal to 13 okay so it's going to be 4x plus 4y is equal to this one is 52 13 times 4 is 52 you multiply everything by 4 the negative 4 is equal to 12 negative 12 so y is supposed to be negative 12 divide by negative 4 which is equal to 3 so y is 3 what about x so you can say x plus 3 is equal to 13 so it means x should be 10 okay so it means when our x is for c for the for the point c when our x is 10 y is 3. So we are going to see the optimal solution by getting the least value of p here. Now, we subject this one to the objective function. x is 0. It means this one will be rounded off to 0. So it means our y is 13 times 30. So it will be 30 times 13, which gives us 390. Then our x is 0 again here. So if x is 0, it means that y is 8. So it, uh, it is 30 times 8, which is to 40. Then finally, <coughs> this one, p, the last for c, p will be equal to 25 times 10 which is x plus 30 times 3 we get a value of 25 to 50 plus 90 so 250 plus 90 is supposed to be 340 so 340 so it means that from this equation our objective function is minimized at point B okay it is minimized at point B whereby we are supposed to have zero, uh, zero units of X X is supposed to be zero units and Y is supposed to be eight units give it a value of 240 thank you